Speak to me pictures. Speak louder than words. The uh, the Opel Blitz Omnibus World War II German Transport. This is Brickmania's one of their latest kit, and it's a limited edition series. Ooh, stinky. There it is. Limited edition. Um, but yes, this is a kit. 463 Lego Brickmania and Brick Arms elements, plus two custom figures. This set is quite frankly awesome. Probably the best set of November for sure. Does this come out in November or October? I don't remember. Or was it September? Um, but Dave, what was the Omnibus? Because this is really kind of new eat new eat. This is pretty unique here. Um, well, young Joshua, you know how wars are won, don't you? Um, politics and money? No, by having superior logistics. Wars are won by moving men, ammo, and supplies. And in that realm, trucks are king. In the Opal Blitz truck, which we reviewed before, and Brickmania has a kit, an excellent kit on that as well, that was the main truck workhorse of the German army. And basically what we have here in the Omnibus is we have a Omnibus body built on top of a Opel Blitz, or at least the Opel Blitz chassis. And production began uh, right before the Blitzkrieg through Poland. Several thousand were built, I think 2,880 of the early version. There were many shortcuts in production done after 1943 when the war started to really go south for the Germans. Its main purpose, interestingly, in the beginning was to move Wehrmacht officers from hither and yon, but it ended up having... wanted a little more classy ride. Yes. Uh, but it also served a myriad of other functions as well, like moving troops. It could act as a mobile command center. It was a mobile radio station, a bakery, believe it or not, uh, a laundry, and of course an ambulance. Guess Rama wanted those crisps. 75 horsepower, 20 men uh, or five wounded with medical assistance, and it saw action in the Eastern Front and the Western Front, and I want one. That would be cool to drive around town in. Is there any still left? Oh, I imagine for if you're willing to pay the money, there might yes. be one somewhere. Anyway, so um, here we go, the Omnibus, we're going to take you through all the details. There's a ton of printed details in this, which I really love that Brickmania does that. Um, that's what really drawed me to this set to begin with. Also by the fact that it's designed by our friend ASAP Animations, also known as Andreas Egan. Another stellar yes. job, Andreas. Very good. As always. Very good. Um, so yeah, did an amazing job. There's some snot techniques in here that saying where stuff's not on top. Um, there's glass, all kinds of stuff. So, well, not real glass, but you know, plastic glass. I don't know what to call it. But anyway, um, so very cool. Um, so starting at the front, you got the Opal Blitz kind of grill plate there, the WH2436, which is the license plate. Got those kind of uh, slits. I guess they're headlights, I'm pretty sure, is what those are. Si, senor. Um, and then uh, going up on top, you got the uh, kind of some tiles there, and then that glass, uh, the windshield. No stickers. No stickers in this, uh, all completely printed. Uh, you got a drive, uh, a steering wheel there, which you can go in, go in along. There's all kinds of tiles and slopes and all kinds of stuff to make this just look very accurate, very cool. Um, and so, yeah, that's basically the. Uh, oh, in the back, there's a ladder, and then there's also an opening door in the back. That same uh, license plate, um, and then something where you can attach maybe some artillery or another car or some kind of thing like that, where you can tow stuff. And then going up onto the top, there's all these printed details. You got this. Uh, box here you got some stuff to get maybe out of the snow or out of mud pits or something um, you got some extra gas some uh, fuel stuff some more crates uh, you know just all kinds of stuff the sand blue tile I mean sand to blue brick which says war mock on it just very very cool stuff there a lantern and also a machine gun as well um, which is just awesome to see and you can maybe place your figures on that railing if you wanted to um, so you can do all kinds of stuff with that um, going into the interior, the roof does lift off, just like so, you know. And um, the interior, you got uh, several different seats in there, and again, the, um, all that does open up if you want to. All of it opens up so you can get easy access to the interior, you can play with it, do all kinds of stuff. Um, so I believe you can sit about five minifigures, and then one up in the front, and then even some more could be standing up. And you could load some crates in there probably and do all kinds of stuff like that. 
Um, they do have a hook there where um, the fold out slides into and it beautifully lines up. Um, and so yeah, the interior is very nice. Maybe could have been like some printed seats or something, maybe, but you know, at this point you got so many printed stuff that, you know, it's just very, very cool. Um, there's uh, the gear shift in the front as well. And so just genuinely a really good model um, in the interior and the exterior. Uh, very cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I could say. There's no like bad design things. It's very structured, it's very solid. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not a baseball, but nothing in Lego's a baseball. But wait, there's more. So it does say you get two minifigures. One is an officer and one is a general, um, not a general, but a general um, kind of, uh, you know, just machine gunner is what I would say. Um, so the officer, you get that uh, really fabulous hat there. Uh, 360 printing is always um, the Iron Cross on his uh, shirt and I think an eagle as well very cool uh, some pouches buttons all that kind of good stuff um, and then also on the sides nothing to going on just some of the shirt creasing and everything like that the pants detail and then why are you looking at me like that I'm just in awe excellent printing on the hat as well and the face moving on to the other figure we have beautiful printing as well um, I love these kind of in shorts um, instead of pants. wait five four three two one happy new year are you saying that it's gonna take me all the way to <laughs> happy new year to get this edited or talking about it I'm just messing with you back okay that was really sus how would you place your minifigures, young Joshua? I'm one driving and one up on top machine gunning. What? It's tight. It's just quite a work of art, yes. in my young opinion. And it's $255? $255. That is in line with everything else. Um, I don't know what limited edition series means. Does that mean it's only going to come out once? I don't think these are in stock as of recording but I'll put up in the screen if they are or not. Um, but uh, hopefully they'll come back in stock. Maybe the limited edition means that they're not coming back in stock. I don't know. Um, so anyway, but if somebody knows about that, please comment down in the description. You know, one of the things that I really like about it is I love tanks, I love half tracks, I love all the real war machines, but it's kind of nice to see some of the other like trucks and things like this that actually played just as an important role in the war as tanks and heavy duty artillery and whatnot. So yeah. that's just a really kind of a nice change of pace for me. And I think that's one of the appealing things about it. Yes, you also got the Africa Corps logo as well on the other side that's printed, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a great set. It says their skill level is three out of five. I, have, I think this is a pretty, not basic, but it, there's no like really, really complex things that take an experienced builder. I think you could do this pretty inexperienced. Um, not to say that the design is simple, but there's just, there's nothing like hugely complicated about it. So I don't know why they gave it a three out of five. Um, but $255, I think that kind of falls in line with what they've priced other stuff. I'm sure they could have added more minifigures, um, but you know, at that price point, I think that you get a lot. The footprint is pretty big as well. Um, it's very rollable. Um, it looks cool. And yeah, it's tight. It'd be bad if we got a, a real one because we'd just be driving around all the time in it. We never would get be anything bad done. That. We would not drive around it. We would. I bet if we actually got one after two months, it'd probably break down. You wouldn't know how to fix it. And there isn't a lot of people who knew would know how to fix it. Once we got it fixed, it would cost a ton of money, and we probably wouldn't drive it that much. That's my guess. God, just throw a wet blanket on my dream. Just saying. Same thing if you got a tiger tank. You would have to re you would have to reconstruct one or like build it from scratch. And then it wouldn't be a tiger tank. There's nowhere else you're gonna get it. If I learn how to do magic. <laughs> 